And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about our thoughts on Fantastic Four. Now, the initial reviews are coming out pretty negative. At last I checked, it's been fluctuating. Last I checked, it was about 14% on Rotten Tomatoes. Um, anyway, let's just start with you, Christian. Yeah. What did you think of Fantastic Four? Well, first of all, I saw your tweet yesterday, and I couldn't agree with you more as far as... This. It is definitely the best Fantastic Four that, as far as a film movie. Now, that's not saying much. Um, it's not a good movie. It's, it's really sloppy. However, I didn't hate it the way I thought I would. I really thought that I would go into this movie like with hatred, the way Mark Ellis did. Um, and I haven't heard Dennis's thoughts on it, too. But, I mean, but Mark hated this movie. For me, it, I thought that the first act... Was kind of set up okay. The tone I thought was was interesting, and I, I just wanted to see more development from these characters. And the characters weren't developed really at all. And once you get to the third act, I mean, the third act is a disaster. I mean, it is terrible. And the, the, my biggest gripe with the film is that it's not fun. It's there's just no fun to it. Like Fantastic Four, and I'm not talking about Tim's story over the top fun. I mean a little bit of fun, whether it be Avengers fun or or even Captain America type fun with jokes. There's none of that stuff. And then they try, it it, it fails. Um, I some of this I thought that the CGI was not great. I thought some of the writing was pretty sloppy. But I was watching the movie, and as I'm watching, I'm going, you know what? As just like a little sci-fi, almost like horror film, if it didn't have the name Fantastic Four on it, I'd probably watch it on cable and go. Eh, was whatever um but it's, i think it's because it is the fantastic four and because the last two have been such a disappointment you watch this movie and go, they drop the ball again and they ruined doom i mean doom's ruined uh the, he looks stupid the i mean it, toby kebbell's a fantastic actor uh and and it just, yeah and it just it didn't i just thought the dynamic didn't work and the thing that i wanted to see i thought it was such a courageous choice and a great choice to have uh johnny johnny and uh and sue be for, uh, sue be adopted and i wanted them to explain that it's just kind of thrown in there and there's no reason like i want to, i want more develop that for me i want more of the characters give me more about victor von doom what it's just it was it was lazy and i think the problems on the set probably had a lot to do with it because it's short. The movie's like an hour and 45 minutes, and that's probably because well, this is what we have. Put it together and let's get the hell out of here. Um, yeah, I, for a year, I bought into this film. Uh, I mean, I've talked about this a lot. I, I bought into it. The I like the writer, the director, the cast, all that kind of stuff. I started believing I liked the trailers, and then... Fox sent up that big red flare in the air saying, our movie sucks, by hiding it from the critics and hiding it from advanced viewers and, and banning uh, or embargoing reviews until the day before the movie comes yeah. out. And at that point, we went, uh-oh, uh-oh, this, this smells awful. And, you know, I went into the movie yesterday expecting the worst thing ever. And the first act of the film... I was like, I think Dennis said the same thing. Like the first act of the film, like, what's everybody talking about? This yeah. ain't bad. This is all right. Actually, for an origin story, this is, and I'm, I'm kind of over origin stories. I don't really dig watching origin stories again. I, would, I kind of would have rather the movie just was start. We assume, hey, Fantastic Four was formed six years ago, and here they are <laughs> at the Baxter Building doing their thing. But as an origin story, it ain't bad. I like the, the, uh, you know, the going back and you know, when they're kids and how they meet and all that kind of stuff. I thought that was cute. I think they tried to pass them off as like 18 and 19 years old, though, yeah. which was that was Kate Mara. Yeah, was like, I know. Kate Mara, she's so hot, by the she's way. She's really attractive. Oh she's God. like 30 years old, isn't she? Uh, yeah. I mean, you, you can't pass them off as 18 and 19 year olds. And and then, um, you know, there's you see this one scene in the trailer where Johnny Storm's dad, Dr. Storm, is saying, Johnny can build anything, <laughs> right? But then one of the, the first time you see him in the movie, this is a minor, minor, minor spoil. It has nothing to do with the overall plot. First thing you see in the movie is a car that he's driving blows its engine. So I was like, right. wait a minute, wait a minute. How am I supposed to trust this dude for building anything? Right. But, you know, the first act, not bad, but it wasn't, it had no pace to it. And it had no excitement to it. And it had no fun to it. I thought it was really interesting. And I, I, I like, the, first of all, the dynamic between Johnny and Sue as a adopted siblings. I thought they just very subtly hinted some really cool things. There were some like, Johnny, I think, has some issues with the adopted daughter. Maybe he thinks she's the favorite. Right. They, I mean, it was very subtle. And it was nice. But you're right. I would have liked to have seen that. It just goes away. It yeah. just kind of disappears. I never felt any chemistry between any, maybe between Grimm and Reed. Maybe yeah. I felt some, some good buddy, buddy yeah. chemistry there because they spent a little bit of time on it in the beginning of the movie. But outside of that, the rest of the team, all that kind of stuff never felt it whatsoever. I didn't hate doom. 
Um, actually, I think it was a very unique, different take they had on the dude. And you like the look of him? I, you know, when I stopped and thought about it, about the environment in which he was coming out of, we won't give spoilers. Although we are going to do a spoilers review tomorrow after Schnepp sees the movie tonight, so that should be fun. Keep your eyes open for that tomorrow. I'm really excited to see it now. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, everyone. Rotten Tomatoes, I appreciate ever, all your advance criticism. But he, all of a sudden, he's there, and then all of a sudden, the movie's over. I mean, so th- that was just weird. It just it's that quick. Nothing. Yeah, it's just sloppy. It's yeah. It, it's so underwhelming. There, it, there's a reason why Fox hid this movie. They hid it from everybody. They knew this movie was bad. They told us this movie was bad by hiding it from the critics. And you know, it's. But I will say this, and it's what I tweeted. You alluded to this. I came out and I tweeted. Well. It's better than the other two Fantastic Four movies. And I stand by that. It is. The, the rot, oddly enough, the Rotten uh, Tomatoes critic ratings of the other two are higher than this one. And I can understand that because it's like, I think it's a better movie. But I can't see anybody liking this movie. No one Whereas would go the, back and rewatch this. I, no, no. And in the other two movies, I'm like, okay, these movies are bottom of the barrel awful. But as being bottom of the barrel awful, I can see some people liking it. So that kind of makes sense. Yeah. This movie, but this is, I don't think any of you are going to enjoy this film. No, it's just really depressingly bad. And about a year ago, we were talking about the, uh, the sequel, uh, how the sequel is announced. Yeah. And I said that I'd eat my shoe if it stuck to mm. the actual date. And they already moved it a week anyway. But well, I, don't, I think they're going to move it regardless. I... I don't think Fox is going to give up on this. You think they're going to do a sequel anyway? Well, I mean, it'll all depend on the opening weekend. I mean, if the movie makes $50 million opening weekend, which I don't think it will, but if it makes $50 million opening weekend, I think they're going to move... I think they're going to trudge ahead with plans for another really? one. Really? I think that drop-off's going to be so big the second week. It's, it probably will. Yeah. It, it probably will. And like, here's the thing, though. The first act was good enough, and the second act was okay... The second act was okay to the point where I'm going to go, look, this isn't a total disaster of a film. This isn't like, you know, bottom of the barrel, Transformers 4 bad. This isn't that bad. But considering how they spent a year getting me excited for the film, I I can't remember being more disappointed in a movie in recent memory. Like, I was really disappointed. I'm I'm hearing stuff from other other critics saying that Scenes like in the trailer where the things dropping out of an airplane. Tons of scenes are yeah. not there. It's not even the in the baseball, film when he's playing baseball. Really? A lot of stuff too, yeah, that's you, not there. This is why I'm going back to where all those reports, as where they had to do all those reshoots and everything. I think that they were scrambling for a long time of like, how do we make this thing work? And when when the, the rumors of of you know Kinberg and and Matthew Vaughn having to do stuff to try to clean this up as much as they can. You, when you see the movie, you start to buy into this stuff because it's like you, you, the, everything's missing. They don't know where to put it. It's it's you can tell see, when you look into it. I've also had I've heard a lot. I've heard rumors, some fairly credible rumors that um, the movie got approved. They're moving forward with an, and after they were already in in pre production, getting everything ready, Fox came in and pulled three set pieces out of the movie mm-hmm. to lower the the budget and. The, then after seeing the movie last night, I'm like, I now I totally believe those rumors because this movie has no action beats. Right. It has no action beats. I mean, the only scene that I felt modestly exciting was there's a small and it's short action sequence that involves Reed Richards in a forest, and that looked pretty cool. I thought the yeah. way they, I, I yeah. thought that looked really good. But that's the only time we get to see Reed Richards doing anything. It's true. And even, I mean, even the way that they, not spoiling anything, but when they actually get their powers, I thought that wasn't handled too great either. Nope. Especially, especially Sue, that's all I'll say. Yeah, I, I completely agree.